The tomb of Alexander the Great is one of the most sought-after mysteries in the world of archaeology. The legendary conqueror of the ancient world died in Babylon in 323 BCE but his final resting place has never been confirmed. Some believe he was buried in Alexandria in Egypt where he had planned to build a grand mausoleum. Others think he was interred in the temple of Zeus Ammon at Shiva Oasis as he had wished before his death. But while the location of Alexander's tomb remains elusive, the tombs of his family members have been discovered and identified in Greece. In this video, we will explore the fascinating story of how the tombs of Alexander's father, brother and son were finally confirmed after centuries of debate and controversy. Alexander the Great was born in 356 BC in Pella which was the capital of the Kingdom of Macedon, a Greek state on the northern fringes of the classical world. His father was Philip II who was a brilliant and ambitious king who transformed Macedon from a backward and divided realm into a powerful and unified empire. His mother was Olympias who was a princess of Epirus, a neighboring Greek kingdom who claimed descent from the mythical hero Achilles. Alexander had a younger sister known as Cleopatra and several half-siblings from his father's other wives and concubines. This Cleopatra was different from the famous Cleopatra VII who was the last queen of Egypt and the lover of Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. She existed about 150 years before the other well-known Cleopatra who was born in 69 BC and died in 30 BC. Philip II had a grand vision of uniting all the Greek city-states under his leadership and launched a campaign against the mighty Persian Empire, which was the archenemy of the Greeks. He achieved the first goal by defeating the combined forces of Athens and Thebes at the Battle of Cheronae in 338 BCE and establishing the League of Corinth, a federation of Greek states loyal to him. He was preparing for the second goal when he was assassinated in 336 BC by one of his bodyguards named Pausanias, during the wedding of his daughter Cleopatra to King Alexander I of Epirus. The motives and circumstances of Philip's murder are still unclear, but some ancient sources suggest that Olympias and her son Alexander were involved in a conspiracy to eliminate Philip and secure the succession. Olympias was known to be a fierce and jealous woman who resented Philip's polygamy and feared for her son's position. She also had a strong influence on Alexander who shared her religious fervor and admiration for Achilles. Olympias allegedly arranged for Pausanias the bodyguard to kill Philip and then ordered the execution of Philip's last wife, also named Cleopatra and her newborn son, who could have been a rival claimant to the throne. Alexander who was 20 years old at the time quickly consolidated his power and inherited his father's army and plans. He was accepted as the king of Macedon and the leader of the League of Corinth and he set out to fulfill his father's dream of conquering Persia. In a series of brilliant and daring campaigns, he defeated the Persian king Darius III and took control of his vast empire which stretched from Egypt to India. He also founded many cities, most of them named after him and spread Greek culture and language throughout the known world. He died in 323 BC in Babylon at the age of 32 from a fever or a possible poisoning. Alexander's death triggered a succession crisis and a civil war among his generals who divided his empire among themselves. His only legitimate son was Alexander IV and was born after his death to his Persian wife Rixana. He was proclaimed king but he was never able to rule as he was kept under the custody of various regents who fought for power and influence. The son was eventually killed in 310 BC along with his mother by Cassander, one of Alexander's former generals and the founder of the Antigonid dynasty that ruled Macedon until 168 BC. Alexander's half-brother, Philip III Aridaeus was also declared king after Alexander's death but he was mentally disabled and unable to govern. He was married to Adaea Eurydice who was a princess of Lynstus, a region of Macedon who tried to assert her husband's rights and challenge the authority of the regents. She was a brave and spirited woman who accompanied Philip in his campaigns and even fought on horseback. However, she and her husband were captured and killed in 317 BC by Olympias, Alexander the Great's mother who returned to Macedon from Epirus and tried to restore her grandson Alexander IV's rule. The tombs of these three kings, Philip II who was Alexander's father and predecessor, Philip III who was Alexander's half-brother, and Alexander IV who was Alexander's son and heir, as well as their wives and children have been the subject of intense debate and controversy for decades. Many scholars and archaeologists have searched for their final resting places, hoping to find clues and evidence about their lives and deaths. The most promising and convincing site is the Great Tumulus of Virgina. It is a massive earthen mound that covers an area of 12,000 square meters and rises to a height of 12 meters. 
It was built in the 4th century BC as a royal necropolis for the kings of Macedon, the ancient kingdom that Alexander inherited from his father, Philip II. The tumulus contains several tombs, some of which were looted and destroyed in antiquity. The Great Tumulus of Virgina was excavated in 1977 by a team of Greek archaeologists led by Manolis Andronikos who made a sensational discovery. Four unlooted tombs dating from the 4th century BC containing rich and exquisite burial goods such as gold and silver vessels, weapons, armor, jewelry and paintings. Andronikos identified one of the tombs known as Tomb II as the tomb of Philip II who was Alexander's father based on the presence of a golden larnax which was a chest that contained the cremated bones of a man adorned with a gold wreath of oak leaves and acorns which was the symbol of the Macedonian kings. He also found a golden larnax with the bones of a woman, possibly Philip's last wife Cleopatra and a golden urn with the bones of a newborn child in the antechamber of the tomb. He argued that the tomb was built shortly after Philip's assassination and that his family was buried with him. Andronikos also identified another tomb known as Tomb Three as the tomb of Alexander IV who was Alexander the Great's son based on the presence of a silver urn with the bones of a young man and a gold wreath of myrtle, the symbol of the Argid dynasty which was the royal house of Macedon. He argued that the tomb was built after Alexander IV's murder and that he was buried with honour by Cassander who wanted to appease the Macedonian people and legitimise his rule. Andronikos's identifications were widely accepted and celebrated by the public and the media but they were also challenged and criticised by many scholars and experts who raised various objections and alternative hypotheses. Some of them suggested that Tomb II belonged to Alexander the Great himself or to his son Alexander IV or to his half-brother Philip III or to another Macedonian king or noble. The debate was finally settled by a new study published recently in the Journal of Archaeological Science Reports by a team of researchers led by Antonis Bartsiokas, a paleoanthropologist from the Democritus University of Thrace. The study used a variety of techniques such as osteological analyses, macrophotography, x-rays and anatomical dissections to examine the bones of the tomb occupants. The study also compared the results with the ancient sources such as the writings of Plutarch, Diodorus and Arian who recorded the lives and deaths of Alexander and his family. The study confirmed that tomb 1 contained the bones of a man with an injured knee, a woman and a newborn baby. The man was identified as Philip II, the father of Alexander the Great who was known to have a limp after being wounded by an enemy arrow. The woman was identified as Cleopatra, the last wife of Philip II. The baby was identified as the son of Philip and Cleopatra who was also killed by Olympias. The study also confirmed that tomb 2 contained the bones of a man and a woman who showed signs of excessive horseback riding. The man was identified as Philip III, the half-brother of Alexander who became king after Alexander's death, but was mentally impaired. The woman was identified as Adaea Eurydice, the wife of Philip III who was a warrior princess and a rival of Olympias. The study also confirmed that tomb 3 contained the bones of a young man who died while young. The man was identified as Alexander IV, the son of Alexander the Great and his Persian wife Rixana. However, the exact location and the fate of Alexander the Great's body remain unknown. The discovery of the tombs of his family in Virginia has revealed more details on the history and culture of the Macedonian dynasty and has resolved a long-standing debate. But the quest for the tomb of the great conqueror continues and perhaps one day, we will find the final resting place of the man who changed the world.